Hey everyone, welcome to the theme announcement video. Before we get into announcing the theme, I have quite a few topics to go through, and I've done a bit of work setting up a kind of community so you can get the most out of this game jam. The first topic that I want to discuss is all about community. So I want people to be able to easily communicate with one another and have a very nice relaxed time. In order to have a lot of fun in this game jam, I highly recommend checking out the Discord channel. I've put in a bit of work to add a lot of features which will make it more enjoyable. For example, our channels are really organized now with categories, such as the game engines, the music, art, and design uh, discussion channels. We also have a bot which will allow you to level up, and it gives me more moderation tools. So as you talk and help people out and discuss the game jam, you'll be leveling up in the Discord channel. Uh, as I mentioned as well, we have moderators which will be helping out. Uh, just removing some of the spam, if people are being rude or uh, messaging too much or whatever, being able to ban certain members, just making it a nicer experience for everyone. And we also have the channel announcements, which is where I will post things if you really need to know about anything. So that's one way to kind of talk with the community and get involved in the discussions. We also have the itch.io community page where you can post topics and it's more like a forum. It's not a real-time messaging system. So if you don't want to be on a real-time messaging system and you'd rather use something like a message board, jump onto the itch.io page. I've got a sticky there for Game Jam Progress so you can share the work you've done. And you can, of course, make your own uh, pages if you want to form a team, if you just want to show the game you're working on, or even announce, say, a Twitch stream. Feel free to do that stuff. The next topic I want to discuss is the rating system. We are going to use the following to rate games. I'm going to explain each one of them as we go through them. First up, we have gameplay. And that's all about the kind of game feel, the juice of the game. Uh, does it have tight controls? And does it provide a certain experience or feeling? Next up, we have the theme. So does your entry use the theme? Does it suit the theme? How do you use the theme to enhance and make your game better? For innovation, uh, did you do something to set it yourself apart? So is your game doing something unexpected? Is it doing something new? Is it innovating? Is it presenting old things in a new way? What ways are you innovating with your game jam entry? For the aesthetics, that's about your visual style and how you utilize it to really enhance the game and make it more appealing. So what art style are you going to go for? Not necessarily uh, the graphics fidelity or the poly count, but what, how are you going to make your game look great and what style is it going to have versus everyone else to set yourself apart and make a really great experience? The last is overall, and that's the impression of the game as a whole. So you may feel it was lacking in a compartment such as maybe gameplay or innovation or graphics, but as a whole package, you may think it's a 4 out of 5 or a 5 out of 5. So that's the overall rating that you think the game deserves. The next topic is the showreel. So showreels are a big part of the game jams that I like to run. And if I do have the time, I would love to put a showreel up uh, next week on Monday. And in order to get in the showreel, all I need you to do is post a 10 to 20 second video of your game on the itch.io community page. So I just need you to post on that sticky that I have up to show progress of your game. Just post a video. I'm going. To, I'm just going to download the most recent ones and put them in the showreel. In terms of the end showreel, do the same thing. Post a 10 to 20 second video, and I'm going to pick the most recent ones and put it at the very end. In, in terms of the games that win, I'm actually going to record those and do some commentary. So if you... Uh, if you end up winning the game and you don't care about being in the other showreels, you will, if you end up winning the game jam, I should say, and you don't care about the other showreels, you will be in the final showreel. And now we come to the theme announcement. This is a very open-ended theme, and I hope you can take inspiration from lots of different types of media. I wanted this game jam to be relaxed, as I said, and I wanted your options to be really unlimited, that you could go for anything that you want. So... For the Game Jam theme, we have something that I think is really cool, and that is Psychic Powers. These are abilities from your mind, things that you can do. And one of the most obvious ones that you may be thinking of is something like Telekinesis, where you can move objects with your mind. 
there are actually so many different abilities when I research this, and I wanted to list a few, and I'm also going to put a link in the description to help a lot of you out. And of course, if you love comics or films with characters who have abilities, you probably already know all about different psychic abilities. So, a few other ones are teleportation, being able to teleport around the environment and manipulating space. Maybe not even just yourself, teleporting objects or other people. Uh, psionic speed, so being able to move incredibly quickly. Uh, psychic element manipulation, so being able to manipulate elements. Maybe you could do something kind of like in Avatar where you can uh, move fire or water and do interesting puzzles or combat. Uh, telekinetic flight, being able to fly around. And our last one is something everyone knows, like a telekinetic blast, basically using the force, like a force push in Star Wars. So as you can see, these are like, you know, five or six examples. There are way more. There's like over 20 pages on this wiki or something like that. So go crazy. Combine abilities, use one ability, make something really interesting. And I hope with all of these ideas and inspiration, because it's such a open... Um, theme, you can create something really unique and interesting and maybe something that you'd want to continue developing. And that's all for this video. Make sure to keep me updated on itch.io and Discord because I want to see what you all create. I'm really interested and I hope you can use this theme to make something really interesting and unique. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I will see you all in the next video.